ndio eh hivyo asa kwa kwanza kitu cha kwanza kabisa ah uh, okay kitu cha kwanza kabisa ni market phase market na consist of two phases first phase inakuwa ni impulsive phase ambayo impulsive phase inakuwa ndo big move sokoni au ndo move kubwa ambayo ipo sokoni then after impulse hot na inakuwa followed by liquidation au correction ambayo correction inakuwa ni small moves ambazo mara nyingi zinakuja in opposite direction opposite direction inamaanisha kwamba unakuta hii big move imetoka juu then opposite direction kama ina, ina, inakuwa ni small moves narudi kule juu before getting another impulse ambayo tunasema ni continuation unaweza ukanote pembeni ila pia nitakutumia hii record kwa utakuja utapitia pia This is in case of of downtrend kwenye uptrend ni vice versa kwamba unakuta tuna impasse followed by liquidation followed by another impasse ambayo ni correction hii yeah. tunasema hii ndio market nature ndio yeah. eh sasa kitu kingine cha muhimu kukijua ni trend trend ni yeah, bro, bro. Na naomba rudie kidogo hapo kuna impulse maana kama mtandao kuna sasa sauti ilikata kidogo. Ah okay. Eh. Kwenye soko kutokana na nchi ya soko tuna face mbili sokoni. Ndio. Impulse face na liquidation face au tungeweza kuita correction. Ndio. Kwa impulse ni big move sokoni. Ndio. Ambo inakuwa followed by liquidation au correction. Ndio watemo utakavyoita sababu nachojua kikubwa ni kuelewa the whole concept ndio kwa hii correction mara nyingi inakuwa in opposite direction kwa hivyo unakuta tumetoka yeah. let's say kama tuko kwenye downtrend unaona tumetoka juu tunapokuwa mm. tuna, tuna, tunaanza kupata liquidation au correction tunakuwa tuna small move ya kurudi kule tulikotoka ndio before getting another impulse ambayo pia tunaweza kuita continuation ndio ni kuelewa hapo eh hii ni in case of downtrend in case of uptrend is vice versa kwamba impulse inakuwa inatokea chini then followed mm. by liquidation or correction ambayo most of times inakuwa inarudi in opposite direction ndio then getting another impulse ndio eh asa kwa hiyo tunaita trend trend inaweza kusema mm. kama vile uelekeo unakoelekea soko na Deo. ili tuite trend lazima tuwe na series of highs and lows yeah. series of highs and lows ni kwa maanisha hivi let's say it is an uptrend kwa sababu tutakuwa tuna impasse yeah. ya kutengeneza a high then tutatengeneza low tutatengeneza high tutatengeneza low tutatengeneza high tutatengeneza low tutatengeneza mm. high ikiwa hivi hilo tunaita trend kwa series of highs mm. and lows hapo mara yeah. nyingi inakuwaga hivi inakuwa kwa impasse ndo ina create a high mhm ambayo inakuwa ni higher high then tunapata mm. liquidation ambayo inakuja ku create higher low ndio then to create another high ambayo ni higher high kwamba another mm-hmm. high inakuwa the highest high than the previous high ndio then tunapata tena liquidation nyingine au correction ndio tunakuja ku create another high ambayo inakuwa ni higher high than the, the than the previous high hapa ndio ambayo inakuwa inaenda juu hivi Ko mm. inakuwa ni series of highs and lows na kwa zinaenda hivyo hivyo. Ndio. Inakuwa kitu kama hicho. Tukija hii hapa ni in case it is an uptrend, in case of, of downtrend it is a vice versa. Kwamba mm. yenyewe inakuwa hivi. Tunakuwa tuna impasse followed by liquidation. 
Mm. Then tunapata another impasse. Mm-hmm. Fraud by liquidation. Tunapata yeah. another impasse. Fraud by liquidation. Mm. Impasse liquidation. Mm. Kwa hiyo inakuwa ndo iko hivyo. Hiyo ndo nature market na hiyo ndo trend inavyokuwa. Kwa hiyo hii ni down trend. Isani... Yeah. Hii hapa ni up trend. Na hapa hivi nafanya ni illustration. Tena kwenye chart kabisa kuona. Eh nilikuwa nauliza ni kwa time frame zote ya? Ya, yeah, yani hii ni kwenye any time frame. Ndio. Yeah. Eh. Sa goya tupitie chart chache tuone inakuwaje. Na na kabla hujaendelea hapo? Eh. Yeah. Nilikuwa nauliza na ranging market je? Ah, ranging. Au umeconsider trend? Ranging market pia. Naam. Ipo, ila ranging market pia ni liquidation. Ndio. Kombo after impasse, tunataka so kupata ranging market before getting another mm-hmm. impasse. Hizi mm-hmm. zote utakuja kuziona mbele jinsi gani unazi trade. Ila hii ranging market tunataka kwenye kundi moja as liquidation au correction. Ah, sawa sawa. Eh, utofauti wake unakuwa ni mmoja tu. Kwamba Ndiyo. after impasse ranging market inakuwa hairudi in opposite direction inakuwa iko the same mm. ila hii ilikuwa nimekuonyesha hapo inakuta inarudi on the, on the opposite direction ndio ndio eh inakuwa ni, ni kitu kama hicho pia nitakuja kukuonyesha kwa nini ranging market atuifanyii sana consideration huko mbeleni lakini sawa sawa E, kama kuna swali lingine unaweza ukauliza ah, hapo hapo tupo pamoja hapo eh asa let's say kama hapa hivi unakuta hii hapa tuna impasse then tukapata small mm. move in the market ambayo ni correction mm-hmm. tukapata another impasse baada hiyo mm. impasse pia tukapata hii small move hapa ambayo ni correction tukapata tena another Yo. impasse tukapata small move ambayo ni correction tukapata Yo. another impasse then small move ambayo ni correction impasse Yo. then then tukapata a small move hapa ambayo ni correction mm. then tukapata another impasse kama inavyoonekana ndio pia even here tukapata impasse then tukapata hii mm. small move ambayo ni liquidation before getting another impasse ndio over here ndo nature ya market ko let's say this uptrend hapa ni kwamba alikuwa tuna series of highs and lows high it will create a low will create a high it will create a low high low high hivyo hiyo ndo mm. ndo market inakuwa ina move hivyo ndio ndio kama kuna swali lolote before tujaendelea ah uh, mimi bado niko sawa hapo bado niko sawa okay uja kuonyesha example nyingine it is in any time frame in the same kwa mfano kama hapa hivi hapa tulikuwa tuna hii impasse hapa kwa kutokana na kwamba always market na kuwa in series of impasse and corrections hatuwez tukawa na, na na series of impasse tu lazima iwe followed by correction. Mm. Kwa tukaja kupata yeah. hii correction hapa. Kwa hii ni kama continuation hii. Kwa ta proceed kutengeneza a new low. Kwamba hapa tulikuwa na high tukatengeneza low mm. low. Tukatengeneza high 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 low tukatengeneza low low then tumekuja huku hii correction kama ku create a, a higher low. Kwa tutakuja tuta, tuta, tuta drop chini zaidi. Ndio ndio. Kwamba hii ndio face ya ya, ya impasse. Mm. Asa kama hapo tumeelewana. Eh. Tuna tuna move tena mbele zaidi. Kwamba ndio ndio. Market ni series of highs and lows. 
kama yeah. hivi hii ni in case of of uptrend kama tunapo create high tunaweza tuna create low high tuna create low hapa hivi hii high next high inakuwa higher than the the previous high hapa tunasema kwamba yeah. tupo kwenye uptrend then the next high inakuwa higher tena than the previous high ila pia hii hii low ambayo inashuka as liquidation hapa hivi haiwezi ku exist kupitiliza kwenye hii low alo hapa ndio ila pia hii the next one haiwezi kupitiliza hapa ndio ila even this is the next one haiwezi kupitiliza hapa hivi haiwezi kupitiliza hapa even the next Leo. one haiwezi kupitiliza hapa hiyo na kisa kama haiwezi kupitiliza ni ili trend iwe valid au iwe iwe still kwenye uptrend ndio pia hii the next one haiwezi kupitiliza hapa kwa hiyo kama ah. tutakuwa still bado tuko kwenye uptrend even this yeah. the next one haitakuja kupitiliza kwenye hii ndio kwa kumaanisha kwamba ikipitiliza hapo ni trend imebadilika eh ndo ndo naelekea huko aha sawa sawa eh saa huwa tunataki trade same bill sokoni ndio either after not seeing that the trend has been has, has been changed kwa ba mm. tukishajomba hapa trend imeshift ndo tunataki trade ila pia tunataki mm. trade kwenye continuation yeah kwa kipengele cha kwanza tutasoma kutaki trade baada ya kutambua kwamba kwamba trend imeshift. Mm. Asa tukiwa na series of highs and lows kama hivi kutambua kwamba trend mm. imeshift inabidi to break below hii last high na higher low hapa. Ndio hapa hivi. Mm. Tuki break hapa ndio tunasema kwamba trend imeshift kutoka kwenye uptrend kwenda kwenye downtrend. Ndio. Na ninapoongelea break naongelea full body candle closure na sio zile weeks. Aha. Eh, ndio ndio. Kwa baada ya ya, ya, ku, ya, ku, ya ku close below hii na hii hapo ndio tunasema kwamba hii trend tumeshift kutoka kwenye hii uptrend hapa kwenda kwenye downtrend. Yeah kwamba ingekuwa tuja shift ingekuwa tunaruhusiwa kuja mpaka kwenye hii point hapa hata tuka, tukafika hapa tuka reject tukaenda chini ila at the at the at the end of, of time frame ulo kuepo let's say kama uko uko one hour before one hour yeah. haija close kwa tukafunga ndani hapa inakuwa yeah. still bado tuja shift na tukiwa tunaruhusiwa mm. kufika hapa na tukaendelea still na na, na uptrend. Ila kitendo cha kuclose below tunakuwa tumesha shift hii trend kutokea kwenye kwenye hii uptrend hapa tunasema tumesha shift kwenda kwenye downtrend. Mm, ndio mm. ndio. Eh. Sasa another thing ambacho ningependa ni kuombe ni kwamba zile ndiyo. baadhi ya concept ambazo ulikuwa umekusha zisomo kwa nyuma let's say kama kuchora trend na vitu vingine kama hivyo ndio usitoe kwanza hizo ah hizo ni zeke pembeni eh yani hatuzi apply kabisa hamna shida mimi nitakuja kukuonyesha kwa nini uko mbele ndio bro eh hasa it is the same thing kwenye shifting from downtrend to uptrend kama uta tuna series of highs and lows kama hivi Mm. Huko film kwamba tume shift from downtrend kwenda kwenye uptrend inabidi to break hii last high and higher low hapa au hii structure yeah. hapa Na kama nilivyo kwanza yeah. tunaangalia full body candle closure Kwa hiyo after breaking of this high high and higher low hapa mm. Hapa hii hi, hi hapa itakuwa ni impasse ilo kuja ku break na hii itakuwa ndio first phase ya hii uptrend hapa ndio 
kwamba tumesha shift kutoka kwenye hii downtrend hapa tumeelekea kwenye yeah. uptrend na hilo kuja ku break hapa ndio ndio first phase ya hii ya hii uptrend mpya au ya hii trend mpya ndio kama kuna swali mpaka hapo ah mpaka hapo tuko pamoja si umesema kuna phase mbili ya impulse na correction si ndio ndio ah basi hicho tu ndio ilikuwa swali langu ila kwa wengine tuko pamoja ah okay ndio sasa what to do when umeshajua kwamba trend ime shift kutoka kwenye certain trend kwenda kwenye another trend ni hivi mm. tunapokuwa tuna series of highs and lows kama hivi then to ka namani kuuliza namani kuuliza kwanza swali ndio kaka na time time frame mfano time frame ya h1 ikiwa ime imeashiria ime, ime kuchange trend lakini ya h4 bado nita consider buy entry au yani change in direction entry au vipi ah saa yeah. kuna kitu kimoja tunaita multi time frame analysis alafu pia kuna, mm. kuna kipengele pia tutakuja tutakuja kukisoma cha kufanya Aha. relationship between higher time frame na low time frame hapo hiyo tutakuwa umeelewa kwamba kila time frame trend yake inajitegemea ila ndio ndio low time frames na kuwa zina respect higher time frame takuja kusoma mbele zaidi hivyo vitu sasa eh sa after not seeing kwamba tume 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 break his structure hapa au tume break previous highs and lows hapa ndo tunakuwa na confirmation kwamba tume shift kutoka kwenye hii uptrend hapa na tunaelekea kwenye downtrend ndio hapa nafanya tu illustration tutakuja kuona vizuri kwenye chart na hii hapa hii inakuwa ni first phase ya hii new trend ambayo tuko nayo ambayo ndio down trend ndio ndio kwamba hii ndio impulsive yake kwa kama tulivyosema mwanzo kwamba tuna face mbili sokoni impulse na correction kama hii ni impulse hatuwezi tukawa na series of impulse tu kwa hiyo tuna speak kupata yeah. liquidation sahi liquidation yeah. tunayopata itakuja kuishia hapa kwenye hii last high ndio ah uh, na most of time inaporudi ku, inaporudi kuishia hapa most of times huwa hatupandagi hatupatangi kendo ambayo itakuja i close above hii area hapa ambayo mm, ni high yetu most of time hatupatangi kendo ino close kwa hapa inakuwaga 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 point ya mwisho kabisa kufikiwa na hii correction hapa au inakuwaga point ambayo ndo ndo new impasse inaanzia ndio na hii impasse mara nyingi lazima ije au naweza kusema mara zote lazima ije break hii new hii hi low hapa na i create a new low kwa tuna kujua kwa market in series of, of highs and lows kwa hiyo kama tume create low tuka create high what next ni kutengeneza yeah. another low ndio ndio it is the same case in case of shifting from downtrend to uptrend kwa sababu tunakuwa tuna series of highs and lows then tuna break tuna break his structure hapa hii yeah. inakuwa ndo first phase ya hii uptrend na hapa yeah. inakuwa ni area ambayo ile liquidation itakuja kuishia hapo mm. hivyo then tutapata continuation au tutapata another impasse na hii impasse mara zote huwa inakuja kuishia pale ambapo hii trend ndio imeanzia ndio ndio hii trend ilipoanzia hapa ndio tunapokuja kuishia ndio ndio eh sa nuna tunde kwenye chat tuone real examples sa sa
Kwa hiyo kama wewe bro hapo una consider pairs wote yani. Ah uh, most of pairs huwa na huwa na zi trade. Aha. Uh-huh. Eh pair almost zote. Okay. Mm. Ya njaribu kuonyesha mifano kwenye pea mbalimbali. Mm. Kwamba let's say hapa hivi. Hapa ndo trend yetu kwanza imeanzia hii. Hii down trend. Si unaona? Ndio. Yeah. Hapa ile yeah. ile downtrend ndio imeanzia hapo. Then tuka mm. tuka hapa tuka tuna high tukatengeneza low. Mm. Tuka create a, a high tuka create a low. Then yeah. tuka create a high tuka create low. Tuka create high low. High low. Mm. Tuka create high then tuka create low. Tuka create mm. high tuka create low. Then tuka break. Mm. Ko tuka tume Cha kwanza anakuwa nime notice kwamba hapa ndo sema bot trend yetu ilianzia. Ndio. Alafu pia structure ambayo ilikuwa broken ni hii hapa hivi. Hii. Mm. Ko tukana kwamba tupo tuna buy tuna take trade kwenye ile previous low ile previous low before break ya hii structure hapa in case mm-hmm. ya kubai ikiwa na maanisha hivi tutakuja ku take trade hapa mm-hmm. ila kama ni ku sell it is a vice versa tutakuja kutekia hapa ndio yeah, ndio yeah. ko hapa hivi inakuwa hivyo kwamba hii ilikuwa ni first phase ya hii trend ambayo ni uptrend then hii ikawa liquidation ikarudi ka top tu hapo then tukapata tukaendelea kupata series of impulse and correction mpaka pale hapo trend ndio imeanzia ndio ndio kuna hii trend hapo ambayo nipo nayo recently pia tunaweza icheki mm. yani ifute tu mm. tunaweza icheki kwamba tulikuwa tuna 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 series of impulse and correction hapa au tuna series of highs mm. and lows high tuka create a low tuka create a high tuka create a low tuka create mm. high tuka create low tuka create high then tuka tume mm. break tumepata impulse ya ku drop chini Yeah, yeah. Asa kama tunavyojua kwamba market haiwezi kawa na series of of impasse tu lazima corrections iwepo. Kwa hiyo tunaangalia yeah. last highs and lows zilizo kwa broken ni zipi. Kwa hiyo kwa kama hapo hivyo mm-hmm. ni hizi hapa. Napendaa kuzimark by by this yellow yellow box au yellow rectangle. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo mm-hmm. kwa nimemark tu hapo kwamba ndo highs and lows za mwisho kuwa broken kwa hii kwa hii yellow rectangle na hii ndo ndo ndo, ndo highs hizo kwa broken kwa hiyo mm. hapo nataka kuja ku take trade ah kuna maana wakiwa na change trend wata break high yake na low yake pia au eh kwa sababu hapa sio tuna change ah. tuna change trend kwa lazima tu break yeah. highs na lows ndio ndio kwa hiyo ndo area ambayo ilikuja kuwa tested hapa ndio ndio eh ko hiyo ndo ndio basic concept ya soko lina move vipi mm. Mm. let's say kama hii hapa hii ilikuwa ni yesterday trade tu mm. kwamba ilikuwa tuna series of impasse series of highs and lows kama hivi unavyoona hapa mm. tuka create a high then tuka break the previous highs and lows mm hapa previous highs and lows yetu ilikuwa ni hiyo hapo 
Ndiyo. Kwa hiyo hii ilikuwa ndio first phase ya hii downtrend. Then mm. hapa ndio palikuja kuwa tested as higher high. Ndiyo ndiyo. Kwamba hii higher high inakuwa ndio the highest price ambayo inaweza kufikiwa na liquidation. Ndiyo ndiyo. Eh Akuwa hapo ulikuwa unasubiri ile kando ifunge ile ile kando ile kando yenye wiki ile. Au? Atufanye consideration kabisa akaenda kufunga. Yaani ukiwa uko valid kuna una, una take trade kwenye exact price. Sababu ukiwa unaangalia kendo kufunga yeah. that, that is the wrong confirmation for us. Mm. Ila pia yeah. just to assume unakuta targeted price yako ni hapo. Then mm. kendo inakuja na tap hapa inakuja inafunga hapa yeah. chini. Let's say it is okay. gold. Sa so gold hapa sina kuta tu ni pips 750. Ndio ndio. Eh na what we do ni kwamba tuna minimize risk as much as possible. Na yeah. na, na ku maximize reward. Kwa hiyo tuna expect kwamba 99% ya trade tutakazo take zinakuwa yeah, na stop loss not more than 20 pips. Na sa. E, na na reward inakuwa kuanzia 1 ratio 5. So kuanzia basi kuanzia ni pips 100 kwenda mbele. Ndio ndio. Eh. Anything less than that uchukui. Less than that nakuta spendelei kuchukua au nakuta anachukua hizo lakini ikiwa hiyo sasa hapa anachukua trade ambayo mm. it is just a counter trend so main trend. Ndio ndio. Eh kama tunapojua kwamba main trend inakuwa na consistent series of highs and lows kama hivyo correlate state is for hard time frame kwa hizo series yani just ikiwa tu 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 highs kama hivyo haiwezi nikawa chini ya pips yeah. 100 kwenye most of pairs ndio ndio eh sasa let's check another, another example hapa kwamba hapa hapa ndio trend ilipoanzia tulikuwa tuna high yeah. tuka create a low tuka create high tuka create a low tuka create mm-hmm. high tuka create a low tuka create high tuka tume break key structure hizi ndio kuja kuelekeza mbeleni tukaendea ku create highs okay. and lows mm. then tukapata hii break hapo ndio ndio ko oh, baada ya kupata hii break tunaangalia last highs and lows before hatujapata hii impasse hapa ni ipi ndio ndio unaweza kaniambia hapa ni ipi hii hii ya kushotwe hii hapa eh yeah. asa nikwambia hapa nikwataka nkuonyeshe kwamba umeona kama hii kendo hapa ndio ndio in, in, in low time frame unakuta ni, ni series of candles so kendo moja kama hivi unavyoona kwa mfano kenda 30 minutes ni 8 candles copy hizi tunazifanyia consideration ah eh kwa hapa last high ni hii hapa last highs and lows ziko hapa hivi na ani hata kama ukisema tuende ukaangalie ukienda okay, say 15 minutes simuona ni candles za kutosha kabisa mm. e, kwa hiyo pia tunazifanyia consideration ko ndio ile rudi tope kai me test hapo tukaendelea kwenda chini ko tuna expect kurudi at least mpaka hapa trend ilipoanzia Yeah. Eh. Na after knowing that kwamba baada ya ku ya kutest ya, ya, ya ku break his structure tunakuja ku test his yeah. highs tuna sita invalidation. Mm. Kama tunakuja ku test
kwa hiyo tunakuja ku test invalidation na baada ya ku test invalidation unajua sasa tunaenda kwenye pale pale trend ilianzia kwa mtu anakuwa hata mm. confident kwenye ku, ku hold trade ndio ndio na utakapokuja kuona tunatumefikia kipengele cha kufanya back testing utaona ina asilimia kubwa ya trade zinakuwa hivyo kwa hiyo pia itakuongezea sana confidence sokoni ndio ndio eh mpaka hapo kama kuna swali lolote unaweza kanuza pia ni in any time frame let's say unyanya kuonyesha kwenye time frame yeah. kubwa hapo ni kwa sitelewa kitu kimoja hapo ndio kaka hapo kwenye nani hiyo rectangle yako ya njano ulipika kama kuna hiyo candlestick ya doji hiyo hii hapo eh hapo hapo kuna kitu uliongea naomba urudie hapo kama uliniuliza haya ya mwisho ambayo ilikuwa broken ni ipi ah ya hapa nilikuwa nilikuwa yani nilikuuliza hivyo nikiwa najua kisa kwamba ndio na hoga ni confusing kiasi kwamba kwa kawaida unaweza kaisi kwamba hapa hii ndo ndo ndo, ndo haya ya mwisho kuwa broken si ndio ndio ila sasa hatuwezi kufanya consideration ya hapa wakati hii ipo may consider hiyo candlestick kama ya reversal eh hii candlestick hapa ni highs and lows kwamba mm. yani ndio inachomaanisha eh kwamba hapa sio tuna high tuka create a low mm. here we create mm. high to make create low then tuka create Aha. high kwa hiyo tulikuja ku break tukiangalia previous highs and lows zilikuwa broken inakuwa sio hii tena sababu hii so previous tena previous mm. inakuwa ipo hapa Ah. Eh, nimekuelewa Yeah. Nilikuwa tuna hii impasse hapa. Ila hii impasse muona hamna highs and lows. Ila ukienda kwenye time frame kwenye time frame dogo. Let's say weekly yeah. au daily kuna highs and lows nyingi tu hapa. Ila yeah. pia apart from kwamba hatuna highs and lows. Ila pia ikawa imetuonyesha previous highs and lows. Kwamba ilikuwa tuna impasse kama hivi. Mhm. Kwenye kwenye monthly time frame. Leo ukienda kwenye low time frame mm-hmm. kuna highs and lows. Ila pia yeah, yeah. ikawa imetuonyesha hizi last highs and lows hapa. Ambao ndo kama kwa tuna yeah. impasse tutaanza low, tuka create a high, tuka create a low. Kwa hiyo let's say kama iko kwenye tuko kwenye downtrend tunge tungeweza tu high tungeendelea tunge ku create more lows. Mm. Ila kutokana kwamba tulikuja hapa tukapata low, tuka create high, tuka create low then tukapata impasse. Moja kwa moja tunajua kwamba tume yeah, shift yeah. kutoka kwenye hii downtrend hapa kwenda kwenye uptrend. Ndio ndio. Kwa tukiangalia broken structure ni hii hapa. Mm. kuna highs and lows zetu kama tumesha indicate ni hii kwa kwa tuna tumeshajua tume shift kutoka kwenye hii downtrend tuenda kwenye uptrend tutaweka kwenye last low kwa maana itakuwa ndo entry yetu na hizi ray line tunaweka kwenye body hapa na si kwenye weeks mm. na pia yeah. na, napenda ku indicate target hapo target na kwa ndo hii same trend imeanzia hapo ni hapa hivi. Mm. Ndio ndio. tulikuja kupata test hapa. Tukapata mm. move ambayo tuna expect at least ifike hapa hivi. Ndio. Ya. Naona kwa leo hapo inatosha. Pia unaweza kujiuliza kwamba saka kama tumeshapata test hapa invalidation na tumeshapata impasse mm. code kwa tumeshakosa hiyo trade. Ni kwa kuna mm. trade nyingi sana huko katikati. 
ambao jinsi ya kuzipata tutakuja kusoma huko mbele. Sawa sawa. Eh. Na natisi hapo nitakutumia material ya kupitia ila nitakutumia mifano. Sawa. Kwa kutosha tu. Ambao pia utaipitia na ukiwa una swali any time utancheki ila last thing Sao. ni kwamba nakupa assignment. Ndio. Ambao itakuwa ni first assignment yetu. Ndio. Utaenda kwenye chat yako. Mhm. Mm Utakuwa unaangalia series of of highs and lows. Ndio. Then utakuwa unaindicate by yellow rectangle au ene kala ambayo utaipendelea ila, ila kwa rectangle highs and lows zo kwa broken mm. then zikaja kuwa tested in any time frame. Mm. Kwa hapo unaangalia previous chart utapata example kwa yeah. mifano ambayo mimi nitakutumia. Kwa hiyo utaandaa mifano yako kama hiyo utanitumia. Sawa sawa. Eh, untumie mifano mingi as much as you can ili tukija kuipitia nijue ki urahisi kwa sababu yeah. sehemu gani unjanielewa. Na nijue ki urahisi mm. kwamba tunarekebisha wapi. Kwa hiyo ah, mifano yeah. mingi kadri utakavyoweza. Sawa sawa. Kwa hiyo hapo ni inabidi ni au basi sawa nishakuelewa. Auliza tukua free kabisa. Yaani kwa ni kwa nataka niulize hivi. Yaani hapo hiyo yeah. back test ni niangalie previous ile high high na high low au low ah. low low high ile kwa broken. Ya yeah, yaani hauji kwenye current market huko. Unakuja kwenye yeah. soko la nyuma huko. Huko. Ndio. Unakuwa unaangalia Let's take an example labda nakuja kucheck pair labda USD JPY. Ndio. Si ndio? Sawa, hauangalii kwenye hii current market hapa. Ndio. Nakuja kuangalia kwenye kwenye, kwenye previous market huku. Huku. Mm. Umeona? Kwa hiyo ndio. Let's let, let take an example kama hapa hivi hii trend ndio si mwana hii trend hapa hii up trend hapa ndio let's say ndio mkuja kuangalia yenyewe au apart from here ndio mkuja kuangalia hii up trend hapa mmm kwa unachokifanya unaangalia tu kwamba tulikuwa tuna high tuka create low tuka create high tuka create low tume create high hapa tume create low we get high load we get high then to break it ko utakachokifanya wewe uta uta mark he he last last highs and lows hapo mhm ukisha mark utaniwekea kwamba hapa ndio invalidation yetu au hapa ndio area ambayo imekuja kuwa ina inaokuja kuwa tested mhm umeona kwa hiyo mimi kija yeah, nkiona uta screenshot uta, utakuwa unazinitumia au unaweza kaziandaa yeah. ukazinitumia kwa pamoja kwa ndio kuna kisa hapa ndio ilikuwa entry point As mm. I told you kama unachokifanya sync minimize risk as much as possible kwa hiyo ukikutana yeah. na trade kama hii yeah. unakuta ni trade ambayo ni stop loss yako stop loss yake ilikuwa ni mm. Ani, ni single digit pipsi lakini nakuta iko na wide target mpaka huko chini kabisa hapo ndo ndo hii yeah. trend ilianzia ndio yeah, ndio yeah. huko kabisa hapo hii trend ndo ilianzia hapo ndo target mm so umeona ndio eh au let's say ni hii trend hapa unaangalia kabisa kwamba hapa ilikuwa ni high tuka create a low tuka create high tuka create low tuka create high then tuka break mm. kwa unanifanyia indication ah. kwamba cool. hapa ndio ilikuwa ni previous highs and lows ndio Una, unaniwekea ray line ambayo ni validation kuonyesha kwamba hii ndio area ambayo ilikuja kuwa tested aha eh Ah, uh, kwa hiyo entry ndo tuna entry ni mpaka usubiri na ni hiyo impulsive ije i test afu ndo unaingia. Yaani entry kupata sasa ni kwamba let's say kama hii nitakutumia utaiona. 
kwamba tulikuwa mm. tumeshare realize kwamba tukija ku close below hii point hapa ndio hii trend itakuwa ime change kutoka kwenye uptrend kutoka kwenye hii uptrend hapo kwenda kwenye downtrend so mm. what you was doing is just waiting to take a trade so na take a trade mm. wapi hapa kwa nakuta tupo tunaisubiri Uh, eh, kumanisha, hapo na, asara, kumanisha, hapo hapo eh, ulikuwa, ulikuwa hapo ungeza kuchukua trade hata mbili hapo si ndio ya ungeza, kwanza ile kutokea kule juu kama umepitia trade zangu utakuwa umekiona sana hicho kitu au unaweza ka take trade eh, hapa pia unaweza kaje ka take eh, trade hapa, hapa. Eh, ndiyo, ndiyo. Eh, kwa hapo ndio 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 kwa hapo nimekuelewa hapo ah kao menelewa shukrani Dio. pia ndio bro ah uh, poa poa basi nitakutumia hii record hapa uipitie nitakutumia Dio. examples na nitakutumia other recorded contact au pia utazipitia after that tutaandaa mifano Dio. yako utaitumia then tukija kwenye next session tutapitia kwanza mifano ambayo umenitumia na mifano ambayo mimi nimekutumia before proceed, proceeding ndio eh ah ni, ni, nilidhani kwamba nani hizo recorded material nyingine ni same labda na nyingine na login kumbe ni unanitumia ah sasa kuna drive moja nitakutumia ila hiyo nitakuja kukutumia tukishafikia stage fulani sawa sawa hamna shida Eh. Aya. Ah, poa poa. Na na pea vipi? Ah, pea alikuwa anasemea pea pea tunafanya yani hiyo inakuwa ni applicable in any pair. Ah, kwa ni tafuta tu pea yote. Unaweza kanitumia hata kama ni pea 10 au 20 tofauti, yani wewe tu pea yote, time frame yoyote. Ndio kama umeona mimi watch list yangu hapa na lot of pairs ah. kuna nyingine tena hapa nakuta labda wiki tu sijaziweka kwa sababu kesi zifuatilie au nakuta sijaziweka hapa kwa sababu target yake iko mbali sasa eh hamna shida fanyi okay poa poa kama kuna swali lingine unaweza kaniuliza before hatuja hatuja end hii meeting Ah, kwa kwa leo nimekuelewa hapo. Nimekuelewa. Okay, poa. A lot more to come. Sawa bro. Poa poa.